Welcome back to Vintage Story. I'm actually in 1.18.0 pre-6 and I want to create a new world. I'm going to use the standard survival experience and the reason is I want to look at the amended world gen and I want to do this first of all on a normal world so if we customize this I'm not customizing anything I am just leaving it as it is game mode survival that's fine the only thing I'm going to do is I don't want to start in a temperate world because every time I do I get killed by a bear I'm going to start in a warm world and then I think that should be okay let's check on everything else yeah that all looks fine temporal gears yeah now i'm on a realistic climate distribution i am going to spend about you know 10 minutes looking at the realistic world gen and then i'm going to switch to apache world gen and the reason i'm doing that is to see whether there is any difference in the world gen between the two of them let's apply that that's fine create world and i'm going to go into immediately i'm going to go into creative and i'm going to fly around and have a good look at what's been changed because there are two things that Tyrone has said. Let's just confirm, okay, it doesn't matter what I look like, we're not gonna look at me. Confirm class. Tyrone has said he's made the up thrusting world busier. Fly mode on, up we go. Lovely, let's have a look at this new world gen. And as well as making the up thrusting busier he is also said he's put more layers of gravel and earth and sand on top of the hills and the up thrusting areas which i think is rather good let's go this way and hope we move out of the rain i want to have a look at this world jen because before it was fairly brutal where it thrust upwards so strongly and I can already see that the top of the mountains has softened and the other thing I really like is that some let me just go a little bit faster right it is that some of the up thrusting earth used to look as if it was a faulty uh, block border but now this is a lot smoother it's a lot more graded we've still got these beautiful beautiful land formations but they are much softer that looks good to me already the other thing I'm looking for is there seems to be just a little bit more uh, flat land or land where it's possible to build a base easily. Let's have a look. I thought when I first looked at the new world gen, when it first came out in pre-1, I remember thinking that there was a severe shortage of trees in comparison to what I was used to. But of course, the effect of adding more gravel and grass and earth is that we are getting more trees on these wonderful upsurging land formations. Yeah, I think that's much, much more enjoyable. Let's get, get out of this windstorm, I hope, rainstorm. I felt with the other world jet. Oh, look at this. Oh, my word. What a wonderful place to make a base up here. Gorgeous. Yeah, I felt with the other world gen that it was slightly hostile. I'm looking for the gradations here and they look beautiful to me. This looks as if it grades from 
Yeah, that looks fine, deeper to lighter with no problem at all. Very, very nice. Yeah, this, this looks like the sort of world, apart from the rain, that I would be happy to settle in and to live in. This looks much friendlier place. I mean, we still have this lovely world gem with these huge mountains. Look at this, the high plateaus. I could be a high plains drifter. Lovely. Yep, I'm liking that a lot. A huge amount. Oh, wow. Oh, my word, look at that. That is so much nicer. It's great actually, because you've got, I think, this new world gen with a lot more sort of hills and valleys and up thrusting mountains like this one. But what you've also got is the humanity back. I know I'm a cherub, but it feels like home again. It, it, look at this possibly not there, but it does feel that this is the sort of world that one can live in and thrive in and be happy in. Yeah, there's still not that much plain flat space. We've got these big rolling hills and plateaus. It's a, a lot less flat. I don't mind that. You know, there's enough flat spaces that one can live here. And also, I suspect one can always sort of terraform some of it. And we still have these wonderful sort of long rolling hills. Yeah. It's very interesting, actually, because Tyron likes this up-thrusting terrain enormously. And you have to remember that I'm English. I come from a, a land that is essentially flat. So to Tyron, where he comes from a mountainous country, um, a flat land would look boring and uninviting and not what he would want at all. Whereas to me, it looks like sort of the place you would settle. And I think this terrain is going to suit all different types of builders. I think there's plenty of flat land for people who like building flat. There's plenty of sort of eagles perches on this up thrusting land for those who want to build castles on towering, towering mountains or even higher ground with sort of wonderful bridges between. I can imagine that would look lovely. But at the same time, I think though for those who like sort of building on rolling hills, we've got enough of that as well. Yeah, I'm thinking that is very, very much nicer. Yeah, I like this a lot more. I am going to leave my avatar here to live out its life alone. <gasps> Poor avatar. But what a nice place to leave it. <laughs> yeah, I like that a lot better. I'm now going to look at the patchy world. Right, now let's have a look at a patchy world. We're going for standard again. We're going to customize it. We are not going to get killed by a bear. We are going to go for a warm climate. And then if we come down here, where we get to climate distribution, we're going to go for patchy. Okay, apply, create world. And let's see what a patchy world looks like. I didn't see any bad block borders in that last world. I thought it all looked perfectly fine. It looked like normal, you know, rolling hills. Right, let's just confirm skin, confirm class. Let's go into creative so game mode C okay press F3 
fly mode on. Let's press F2 for the move speed. Let's come up. Now this is Apache world. So we should see a lot more different climate distribution. The question is, what do the chunk borders look like? Right, north. Yeah, you can see we're getting jungles, forests, everything will be smaller. These jungles here will be smaller because it's in a patchy world. You don't get thousands of blocks of the same terrain. It alters greatly. Yeah, there's jungle down there. Cedar forests. Uh, yeah, and you can see that you will get jungle next to ice worlds. Now let's have a look at these borders. This is looking just fine to me. Look, there's a beautiful gradation there. That's really nice. I mean, there's no abruptness there at all. And the same in the forests. You know, we've got ice next to not ice. <laughs> That's beautiful. I mean, these patchy worlds are gonna work a treat if it's this good. Well done, Tyron. Yeah, this grades in beautifully, doesn't it? Look at that. Oh, wow. Yeah, we have deserts next to ice biomes. I do love patchy worlds for the variety. When you're playing single player, it is so nice to have this variation. What is that? Oh, it's cassava. Whoa. Okay. Oh, that works well, doesn't it? And this extra softness. Look at the high plateaus here. <gasps> you could build a base going around at this level. That would be phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. You can see the world generating in. Yeah. Very nice. Well, I think I call that an incredibly successful different generation. That's really, really nice. I am liking that a lot. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And we have a cold desert here. Lovely. I do love the fact that the ruins are now the same rock as the rocks beneath them. It's fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Look at this, long slivers of land going out into the sea. Yeah, that's very, very good indeed. Wow. I'm becoming addicted to flying around worlds and having a look at them. It is such a nice thing to do. And look, we've got fruit trees over here, hyenas. Nice. That is a fabulous grading into each other. Very, very beautiful. Okay, well, I think that in both the, in both worlds, in both the normal world generation and the patchy world generation, I think that the difference between the chunks has disappeared and the difference between the biomes is beautifully soft. I also think that the additional earth and vegetation on the mountains has just made this world feel 
really, really livable again. So very well done, Taran. Bye-bye, guys.